Good evening, brothers and sisters. My name is Pastor Brian Dees, and I'm happy to be here on uh, another Wednesday night to bring the sons and daughters of this ministry. And if there are any others that take the time to view uh, this lesson for this Wednesday night Bible study, I want to tell you thank you. I want to uh, tell the saints, the sons and daughters, the laborers and workers of this vineyard here at East Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church where the Lord has blessed me to serve as pastor uh, for 15 years. I want to tell you thank you for your labor of love. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your diligence. Thank you for your resolve. Thank you for your steadfastness to be a committed child of God, to be a good soldier, to fight the good fight of faith as we labor together in God's vineyard. I want to tell you thank you. Continue praying for all of us uh, in the midst of a pandemic. We're still blessed uh, in the midst of the uh, the national unrest that is going on in our country with the protest uh, and the violation of civil rights that we witness on our televisions, uh, not just to black men, uh, black people, but to humankind. Uh, we're going to stand together and there's a cry for help and there's a call for unity. And we're gonna to stand together and keep working together to do what is right, to speak up and advocate to do what is right uh, for God's will to be done and for us to love one another, which is where the Lord has us this evening in a brief lesson tonight in our Bible study. This lesson is taken from the first book of Peter, the apostle Peter wrote this epistle to the churches, uh, the saints of God that were scattered abroad throughout Asia, Cappadocia, Bithynia, Galatia. And he wrote uh, these scriptures in this particular, the first epistle of Peter, 1 Peter chapter number one, and I'm gonna read beginning at verse number 22 down to verse number 25. And it reads, Seeing ye, have, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again not of corruptible but of incorruptible by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, for all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof fadeth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. And I use for a text and a thought tonight for this lesson is for us to love one another. Peter wrote this epistle to remind the saints that were scattered abroad to the churches to remember to love one another. And he said, and I'm paraphrasing his words, he says, since you have been born again, since you have been washed in the blood of the lamb, or because we say we're children of God, there is one thing in particular that we must do. We gotta love one another and not just love one another in a haphazard way, but he used the word that we don't hear of uh, in times that we're living in today. He said fervently, like the Bible says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Peter reminded, the apostle Peter reminded the saints of God and the churches that were scattered abroad. He said, see that you love one another fervently. In other words, take time, take care. Take some effort. Take the willingness to love one another. And not just this, uh, you know, uh, I love you and really don't mean it. You know, a lot of times we say I love you and really don't love nobody. We're just saying some words, but really don't mean it. And I remember, and sometimes, you know, I think of some of the songs that we were raised up in and how uh, it speaks to us, the songs and hymns that we sing and, and to the Lord in our prayer life and our devotion time. And there was a song, uh, the word says, I love him, I love him, I love him, because he first loved me, talking about Jesus. 
He purchased my salvation on Calvary. Are we loving one another? No matter what we're going through, no, are we loving one another? No matter how we're being mistreated, it takes time to show real love and kindness. And that's what the world needs today. Love, need more love. What the world needs now, remember that song is love, sweet love. That's the only thing that there is to little love. We need more love in the world that we're living in. And my mind is made up, saints of God. When the Lord tells us to love, it, does not, it just not, doesn't just mean to love uh, yourself. He said, but love one another. Help me to love in my home. I want to love in my church. I want to love on my job. I want to love in my community. Help me to love somebody today in the name of Jesus. For that's what the world needs, love. And ask yourself this question tonight. Am I loving? Am I a loving and kind person? Am I showing love one for another? I encourage us tonight when we think about the message and the words that Peter wrote to the church, because we are children of God, we should want to love. We should say to ourselves, I need to love. I got to love. Lord, help me to love. I want to be more loving. I want to be more kind. I want to be more giving. I want to be more thoughtful. I want to be more sweeter. I want to be more understanding. I want to be more giving. I want to have more compassion. I want to have more mercy. I want to have more empathy and understanding and tolerance. Help me to love one another. He didn't say whether it was the person was black or white. Didn't say anything about their ethnicity. Didn't say anything about their background. Didn't say anything about whatever uh, their beliefs were, were or how they live. He just told us to love one another. And that's what I'm asking us to do tonight, saints of God. Love one another. See that we do it. Pray about it. Ask the Lord to help you to be more loving. That's what I'm doing. Lord, help me work on Brian. Help me to be a better child of God. Help me to be more understanding, more compassionate. Help me to be more loving and kind like Jesus was because he loved us and he loves us with an everlasting love. And he just didn't stop there because when Jesus died on Calvary's cross and rose from the grave with all power in his hand, the Bible says that he sits at the right hand of the throne of God and he's like a mercy seat, a propitiation. He's an advocate and he advocates and prays for you and me. And when he has a conversation with his heavenly father, the Lord God Almighty, he say, Lord, those are your children. They are the ones that I died for. I love them. And God sees us through the eyes of love, through the blood of Jesus. And I'm so thankful today. I'm so thankful tonight that we can take the time to reflect and say, Jesus loved me so much, I can't help myself but to love someone else. So take this message tonight and remember, because that is what is going on in the world today. That is what the outcry is for injustice, injustice, people being treated wrongly. And there is a cry for love. For it's hard to treat someone bad when you love them. That's hard. It's hard to, to uh, treat someone like they're nothing when you really, really love them. And I'm asking us to love one another tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray for you. Thank God for you. Pray for your strength in the Lord. Pray God's continuous blessings in your life. And remember, the theme, the text for this lesson on tonight is love one another. For Jesus is love. We are known as his disciples by how we love one another. God bless and keep you. Thank God for you. And I love you. In Jesus' name, amen.